house prayer ay magkakaroon din po tayo ng changes. Instead na magbigay kami ng mga Bible verses na inyong babasahin at i-discuss with your families every day, we'll be giving out one book from the Bible and the number of chapters to be read every day will also be announced. Ina-encourage namin kayo to read the chapters on your own. 
family sharing and discussion ay magaganap tuwing 7pm. Share ninyo ang inyong mga thoughts at ang mga verses na tumatak sa inyo sa ating Facebook group kasama ng picture ng inyong family. Good evening, Pillar Families, and we welcome you once again in our midweek service. And tonight, um, ang gusto ko lang pong gawin ng lahat is to remember yung mga ginawa ni Lord sa atin for the past four months ng pandemic. And beyond that, yung mga ginawa rin niya before yung pandemic sa buhay natin. And kung titingnan natin, um, God has really blessed us and Um, protected us sa pandemic kasi hanggang ngayon we are all safe and uh, nakakakain pa rin tayo lahat araw-araw. Minsan nga sobra pa sa tatlong beses sa isang araw yung kinakain natin. So we must be very grateful na despite uh, these circumstances yung mga nangyayari sa paligid natin sa buong bansa ay nandyan pa rin si Lord para gabayan at suportahan tayo sa pang araw-araw natin na buhay. So Um, I'm inviting and encouraging everyone na ibigay lamang natin yung lahat ng uh, thankfulness, lahat ng papuri sa Kanya. And uh, ibigay natin yung lahat-lahat sa atin habang kinakantahan natin siya ng mga aawitin natin ngayong gabi. So, uh, let us sing for all you've done.
privilege po na magsalita sa inyo ngayon at ihayag yung salita ng Diyos at ang kabutihan niya sa bawat isa. It's been my family's prayer. Actually, lahat naman po tayo ay we are praying for everyone's welfare and safety, lalo na yung protection sa COVID. So, tanda ko pa po nung time na first day na nag-lockdown, it was March 16. Hindi ko po makakalimutan kasi birthday ni nanay yun. More than four months na po tayo na nasa community quarantine. And marahil, most of us had different ways upon how we adapt in a current situation on, or how we adjust sa ngayon uh, buhay na meron tayo sa new normal na uh, pamumuhay natin ngayon. So, for me po, uh, I'm very grateful and blessed na normal pa rin po yung work namin, yung company namin they allowed us to work until magkaroon na ng vaccine and naka-work from home po kami ngayon. Siguro po marami pong nag-work sa NCR ang nakaka-relate 
Ang sarap po ng buhay ng nag-work from home. Kasi ilang hours po yung natidepend. Let's say, uh, balikan po is 5 hours. So, ibig sabihin, we need to wake up at 5 pag medyo tamat, mga 6, gano'n. So, naalis ka before 6.30 kasi alam po natin yung traffic sa EDSA. Then, mga 9 na po makakarating. So, yung travel po, time po namin, na lalaan na po namin sa mas iba pang productive na bagay, like, mas mahabang pagtulog. Uh, we can wake up kahit hanggang 8.30, then mag-online po ng 9. Ganun lang. Ang sarap po ng ah, uh, adjustment na binigay po sa amin na nakakapag-work from home. Yung time po to rest instead of ibiyahe. So, we're great, we're really grateful for that. So, yung iba naman po na tinamaan ng uh, COVID, naapektuhan po yung work nila. They use their time online. Marami po tayong nakikitang mga business online. Newsfeed po natin pag business call mo po most of the feed that we can see is yung mga pagkain. So, ang hirap na nga po mamili. Sobrang sarap ng mga pictures sa Facebook. But, syempre, may mahal. <laughs> yung iba. Pero, uh, nakapag adjust po sila on that way. Yung uh, imbis na mag, mag uh, lean sila dun sa, kita lang po nila dun on their job or yung iba kasi nabawasan yung araw ng pagpasok na nagiging uh, productive po sila by doing online businesses. So, yung iba naman po uh, sa atin ay uh, nakapag-adapt or nakapag-adjust by finding their hobbies at home. Yung mga natutong magluto dahil sa quarantine, yung mga natut uh, nag-gardening. Marami po tayo nakikita sa social media na mga ano sila, mga features kasama ng mga halaman na tumubo for almost 4 months talagang tutubo na po yung mga yun then reading, tas yung iba mga sexy na dahil sa kaka-exercise at marami pa pong iba pero hindi po lahat ay naka-adapt or hindi po lahat ay madaling nakapag-adjust sa new normal na ito parang mga isudyante lang po ito or mga isudyante lang po tayo hindi lahat tayo ay pare-parehong uh, yung time ng learning curve hindi tayo sabay-sabay na naiintindihan yung bagay kunwari po uh, yung best friend po ni Junjun, si Jonjon he can learn uh, multiplication or he can memorize multiplication table in a week yung 1 times 1 hanggang 10 times 1 ganun. kompleto yon but si Junjun, he can learn it in 3 weeks pero hindi yun memorize yung gagamit pa po ng kamay <laughs> para lang makapag-multiply so, ayun po, may iba-iba po tayong ways or meron mga iba pa tayong timing para maka-adapt doon sa pagbabago. At marahil din, yung iba, na-stress na po sa ating current situation. Pero, my question is, as Christians, how do we respond and adapt sa mga oras na ito? Paano tayo mananatiling maganda ang ating perspective hanggang dumating yung vaccine. So, I would like to share this one verse from the book of Romans, chapter 12, verse 12. Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, and faithful in prayer. Before I continue, let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for this night. Thank you for this technology and for the skillful volunteers, Lord God, that tumutulong to make this online fellowship possible. Lord, I pray that you'll use me to share kung ano man po ang gusto niyong iparating sa bawat isa and open the hearts and mind ng mga taong nakikinig po sa, itong, sa inyong salita. We ask this in your name, in, in Christ Jesus. Amen. Ayun. <laughs> From this verse po, we can see that we can see three things on how we can respond during this time. So, first one is be joyful in hope. Magalak dahil inyong, magalak dahil sa inyong pag-asa. So, paano natin gagawin yun? Maraming mga kumpanyang nagsasara. Marahil hindi tayo affected but meron tayong mga mahal sa buhay, friends, na apektado nito. Meron ding mga naguguto, nakita natin sa TV, nakaka-stress. Meron ding hindi makanood na ng TV kasi ang favorite nila ABS-CBN na nagsara or yung probinsyano naka-online na lang. 
marami ring naasar kasi yung sanay sa gala no, every week every week or every Sunday after fellowship punta agad ng mall yung mga ganun po so stress stress na stress na sila these are just uh, light light, uh, light things na na-encounter ng ibang tao but hindi natin alam kung ano pa yung mga pinagdadaanan ng bawat isa that will cause the stress sa mga tao pero we should be reminded that uh, uh, Paul told uh, tells us in 1 Thessalonians 5.16 that be joyful always. Sa kabila ng mga nangyayari, ay dapat magalak tayo. Uh, Paul told these things doon sa mga taong persecuted during their time. We all know po kung gano'n po kahirap yung maging Christian yung panahon nila. May mga hinusgahan, kinukulong, may iba pa nga po pinapatay. But uh, Paul says, in all of these things, remember that you are in Christ. Now, we are all with Christ. Meron tayong kagalakan na pinagkaloob na sa atin sa pamamagitan ng Holy Spirit. Simula nang tinanggap natin si Jesus Christ. There are hope in Christ. We can, where we can find hope? San tayo pwedeng makahanap ng pag-asa? Kay Mayora, hey, nagsusupply ng ating bigas sa manok, mga ganun, or barangay ba? Sa parents ba natin? Sa trabaho ba natin? Yes, they can be the channel of blessings, but our hope is found on the promises of God. Let's read on Matthew 28, verse 20. Jesus said, And surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. Tayo ay dapat magalak dahil kasama natin ang Diyos. He never, he never wants us to suffer. Instead, He wants us to be victorious. So, i-claim na natin. If kasama natin ang Diyos, hindi dapat tayo mag-worry. Hindi dapat tayo mangamba. Hindi tayo dapat malungkot. The second point is, patient in affliction. Sabi ni Google, mahilig ako sa Google. Patience is the ability to wait or to continue doing something despite of difficulties. So, kahit hirap ka na, go ka pa rin. Or to suffer without complaining or becoming annoyed. So, kahit hirap na hirap ka na, stress na stress ka na, hindi ka umaangal or hindi ka nagre-reklamo. Pero di ba ang hirap? So, I have these three points na, na isinasuggest on how we can improve on being patient. Number one is surrender to the will of God. Lord, kailan po matatapos yung pandemic na to? Yun yung maraming question. Or lahat, ito yung question nating lahat. May mga bagay na hindi kasi tayo kontrolado. But we know that God works in mysterious ways. He can make impossible things to happen. But syempre, in His own timing. Sabi nga ng favorite verse natin. Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. So, let us not worry. Instead, let us be patient to wait for His timing. The second is sacrificing while waiting. In our current situation, it is required to sacrifice things. Sacrifice the things that we normally do. Marami tayong bagay na ginagawa na kailangan muna natin ipagpaliban or mga plano na dapat muna isang tabi para magawa ang mas aligned na plano ng Panginoon para sa buhay natin. Like yung synchronized prayer. Dati, we tend to watch Netflix uh, or gawin yung mga bagay na nakakasanayan natin tuwing gabi. Katulad ng matulog na maaga o mag-teleserye marathon. But now, we are using our time to have fellowship with our family and friends. Iba nga, online pa. To know more about God. Another form of sacrifice is true fasting. In our church, we are doing prayer and fasting every fourth Saturday of the month. So, this coming Saturday na po yun. Uh, fasting is abstaining not just from food, but also, but could also be things that deemed as essential to us. Mga bagay na madalas na kumakain ng oras natin, o mga bagay na tingin natin ay importante sa atin na hindi pwedeng hindi natin gawin. We sacrifice, we can sacrifice these things 
para mas lalo tayo makapag-focus sa ating spiritual growth by humbly denying something of the flesh to glorify God. The last point on how we can improve on being patient is serving other people. I know many of us uh, many of us ginagawa na po ito. We empathize and we help sa mga pangangailangan ng ating mga mahal sa buhay, mga kaibigan, and even kapatiran. In that way, we focus more on their needs kesa or instead sa ating mga sariling pangangailangan. Ang, final, ang third and final point po ay uh, be faithful in prayer. Philippians 4.6 tells us, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, thanksgiving, prayer, your, present your request to God. We can be faithful to God, lalo na ngayon sa oras na to. Yung naka-community quarantine tayo, we have lots of time. So we can a lot more time sa Kanya. Pwede natin i-improve yung ating prayer life, or we can set uh, time every day sa panalangin. Instead of worrying, let us pray and thank God for everything. It's an expression of faith in Him by being grateful or being thankful for everything He has done to us. We know that He is an answering God. In His time, everything will be fine. Maayos ang lahat. Mawawala na ang COVID in Jesus' name. We are victorious in Christ Jesus. So, in conclusion, In order to overcome our fears and worries, we need to trust God always. His ways, His will, His timing. So we should first be joyful in hope, second, be patient in affliction, and lastly, faithful in prayer. Sana po ay may natutunan kayo. So now, let me close in prayer. Lord, Thank you for your word. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for letting us feel na lahat po ay magiging okay na. Dahil kasama ka namin lagi. Remind us to keep your word para mawala po yung takot at pangamba na nararamdaman namin. You know our plans, Lord. You know the desires of our heart. And we all know that everything will be beautiful in your time. Lord, continue to give us guidance and protection. Give us peace of mind and wisdom to know your will. Lord, sinosurrender na po namin ang lahat. Help us to be joyful, to be patient, and to be faithful to you. We ask this in the name of our Lord Jesus. Amen. Sa ating prayer and fasting, uh, this coming Saturday, um, As mentioned earlier, fasting is abstaining not just from food but could also be things that we deem essential to us. So, hindi lang po yung, hindi po nangangulogan na hindi tayo pwedeng makadalo kung hindi po tayo makakapag-fasting sa ating pagkain. Ma- sa maraming kadahilanan, bagus maaari po tayo mag-fasting sa iba pang mga bagay na ating pinagkakabalahan, katulad ng social media o kaya ng mobile games, o kaya yung pagtulog or marami pang bagay na kumakain ng oras natin. So, inaanyanahan ko po ang lahat na dumalo at makasama sa ating prayer and fasting this coming Saturday. Marami pong salamat. Shut up. Good morning po sa lahat. Ako si Elijah Kalayag at nandito ako para ipaalala ang ating 5 prayer points. First, let us pray for an end to this virus. Alam naman natin na makapangyarihan ang ating Panginoon at kaya niya gawin ang lahat. Second, let us pray for our government leaders na bigyan sila ng gabay ng ating Panginoon. Third, let us also pray for our church leaders na pinapatuloy ang pagbigay ng midweek services and Sunday services sa atin. Fourth, let us pray for the frontliners uh, na bigyan sila ng resistensya laban sa sakit at para ipatuloy ang kanilang tungkulin. Fifth, let us pray for the gospel to spread na ngayon sa oras ng pandemya. Kailangan ng tao ng katiyakan na laging gumagabay ang ating Panginoon.
for our announcements. Our services will still be happening online until further notice. Our Sunday services at 9 a.m. Our midweek services every Thursday at 7 p.m. And our prayer and fasting every fourth Saturday of the month at 9 a.m. You may watch them premiere live on both our Facebook page and our YouTube channel. Our breaking of the bread happening every first Sunday of the month right after the word delivery. Discipleship group discussions will still push through online. Do coordinate with your DJ leaders to set up an agreed schedule. We also have our synchronized house prayer happening every night at 7 p.m. Scripture or book of the day will be posted on our Facebook group. For more updates, you may follow us on these accounts. For Facebook, facebook.com slash jcpftcpillar or facebook.com slash jcpftcpo. For our Instagram, it's at jcpftc. And for our YouTube channel, it's Pillar Worship. Now let us declare our mission and vision. Our mission is to glorify God by reaching out and mentoring families, producing spirit-filled leaders and Christ-centered communities. Glorify God, disciple families. And our vision is, by God's grace, to become an influential disciple-making church of Christ-centered families in the Philippines and beyond. Now let us speak blessings to one another. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make His face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn His face towards you and give you peace. God bless everyone.